Doctors in New York are now warning COVID-19 may cause sudden strokes in young adults who are not severely sick. To talk more about these new findings from Mount Sinai, we bring in our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Dr. Coley, good morning. Good morning, Natasha. So strokes in young adults, this is pretty alarming to hear. Can you talk more about this report? Uh, so Natasha, this was a, a case series of five patients that presented to Mount Sinai, all in their 30s and 40s, all in their 30s and 40s and all relatively healthy without any significant past medical history. And it was a little bit surprising because we normally don't see people that are not in the hospital presenting with strokes, and we certainly don't see young people like this presenting with strokes. And what the authors concluded, in fact, was that the likelihood of having a stroke in young people was seven times higher than you know the random population for these patients with COVID. And what was even more surprising was that two out of five of those patients had absolutely no symptoms at all, no other symptoms to suggest that they even had COVID. So the stroke was really the first presentation of the, of the illness. Wow, no symptoms. So what is thought to be causing these strokes? Uh, so we've heard a lot about how this virus can affect multi-organ systems. It can affect the nerves directly. But in this case, what they thought caused the strokes was actually blood clots. And we've also heard that the virus makes you more likely to clot. Now, the reason that it does that is still a little bit unknown. But we do know that the receptors, called the ACE2 receptors, that the virus uses to get inside cells are found on the walls of the blood vessels. So perhaps injury to the wall of the blood vessel is a mechanism for that blood clot. Other potential reasons could be an inflammatory response that makes your blood thicker and more likely to clot. But the blood clots occurred in the large blood vessels that go to the brain. And the larger the blood vessel, the bigger area of brain it supplies. And so if you block off the blood flow to that part of the brain, mm -hmm. then you get neuronal cell death. You know, we've come such a long way from thinking that this was kind of like the flu. There are so many symptoms that are so different. Um, and then for a while, we've also known that young people do relatively well with this virus and they're at low risk. But with these findings um, that they are susceptible to stroke, does that change your thinking? You know, that's a great question. And I don't want to create alarm among the young people because this was only five patients, so pretty small sample size. But, you know, it did catch my eye because it's the age group that I'm in. I'm otherwise healthy. And, you know, with the, the stay at home order being lifted to a safe at home order this weekend, I do want the young people to know a couple of things. The first is that some young people can have very serious complications like this from this illness. So it's really important for us to continue to keep our distance and practice all those measures we've been doing. And the second is if you are young and you do have an unusual symptom, make sure you don't delay in seeking help because two out of five of the young patients in this report actually delayed before calling an ambulance because they didn't know what was going on and they were concerned about coming to a hospital during a time of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. But it's really important because the sooner you seek medical care, the less likely there is to be you know, tissue death and more likely mm -hmm. you are to have better recovery. Oh, yeah, especially with stroke. The first thing is to think fast, move fast. Uh, you cannot in every second count so precious. You can't delay that. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for explaining those findings. Nice to see you.